Hello and welcome back to Shantae for the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we finished off uh, the Twinkle Palace and we got a new transformation. A new, transma uh, a new transformation that will allow us to get a ton of collectibles. So this episode is going to be a collecting episode. Hooray. Alright, uh, now I'm going to start off by going to some of the labyrinths that we have gone to. Oh wait. No, 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 no. I'm mistaken. Uh, because we're here already, uh, close to Bandit Town, we're gonna turn in the warp squids that are in Bandit Town. As you can see, this is a quick way to go down, but just using the slope. Now, I'm turning these in now because we're already somewhat close to here anyway, so... Yeah, that's my reasoning behind that. I would use them on uh, Watertown, but then we'd have to travel all the way here, and then... Anyways, yeah, uh, I'll probably just see you in Bandit Town. Alright, back in Bandit Town, the Warp Squid Hut is here. And now we're gonna turn in four of the Warp Squids that we have. Hello! Yeah, this is your baby. Even though it's a different color, it's your baby. Just. Just take it. Accept it. Boop. And... A beat. Now here is Bandit Town's dance. Up, down, B, left, B, right? Huh. Or down, up, not up, down. Day or night? Okay. Well, now that we have that dance taken care of, uh... Yeah, let's go to a couple of the locations where there are labyrinths that we could not get warp squids at. So, I'll probably just meet you at the Dribble Fountain. Oh! Actually, while we're here, um, we're passing by this already. This is the Harpy Talon. This talisman will allow me to attack in Harpy form. Now, when you press B, you're using your claws to swipe. Which is nice, because you can actually attack in the air and make aerial battles really helpful, and... Yeah, when you come across flying enemies like, say, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, we hit him. Yeah. That just takes care of them really nicely. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that was just along the way. I'll just see you at the dribble town. Like I said, it would. Yeah. I'll just see you there. Alright, while we're at the Dribble Fountain, I just wanted to show this off. It's much easier to get this one up up here as the Harpy, so you might as well get it while you're here. And I believe the Warp Squid is just in this next room. So whoa, be careful not to just be reckless and walk into the next room as a Harpy like I did, because you'll risk falling in. Anyways, here's the, here's the Warp Squid. And, uh, that's actually it for the, the Dribble Fountain. Yeah, it's right near the beginning, and it's just really easy to use. And also, you can just come in and out as the Harpy, and it'll be so much easier as being the monkey and climbing all this, because all you have to do is mash A. So yeah, um, our next destination should be, uh, the Golem Mines. So yeah, I'll probably just see you there. The heck? There's a locked door. Uh, what? Thought I went through all the doors. What the heck? Uh... Huh? Did I miss a room where there was a key and then... Uh, this must be an optional area because I, I know I went through here. The heck? Okay, well, that's weird. Anyways, to the warp squid. That's not where it was. I just wanted to go that way. Alright, in this room with the lava, and you have to hit the statue to make the lava spires uh, hit the ground so you can cross. Uh, if you fly up? Huh? Okay, here we go. If you fly up here, you find a baby warp squid. Now, 
now I'm really, really curious as to where that key was and why we didn't go through that locked door. It must have been optional, but there's no warp squid. It, the only thing I can think of is money and or uh, another key. And we just skip that process of getting the extra key? I don't know, anyways. That's really, really weird. <sighs> Whatever. Um, next is the Cackle Mound, and yeah, I'll just see you at the Cackle Mound when, yeah, I'll just see you there. Alright, so in this room, with all the slopes and all the spike walls, just be careful not to hit the spike walls or the slope, because then you will have to either... Wait, what? Okay, here we go. You just have to get down here. And the baby warp squid is here. You can go use the slopes, but uh, just be careful not to hit the spikes. Anyways, uh, that's actually all the warp squids. As you can see, we have four. Now, I would turn them into water town. Uh, well, actually, that would be a good idea before we start collecting the fireflies, but we also need to get the remaining two heart holders, which one of them we were close to on the way to the second warp squid. Uh, so... I guess we're heading back to the desert. Just to get that one heart holder, because I completely forgot about that. I'll just see you in Men's Desert again. Alright, here we are in the Men's Desert. There are some pyramids that are upside down that you can only access as the Harpy. And at the top of one of them is a heart holder. Alright, there is only one more to get, and it's at Mount Point. I guess I could have gotten this at the beginning of the episode, but, uh, oops. Kind of slipped my mind. Anyways, probably just see you at Mount Pointy, then. I guess the warp to Bandit Town is useful. Okay. Alright, we are at the top of Mount Pointy once again, and... Just fly up here, be careful of the spikes in the roof, the icicles. And in one of the indentations in the roof, there should be... A heart holder! That's all the heart holders! Now, to start collecting the fireflies. Uh, as it turns out, there is a firefly at the top of Mount Pointy, which is convenient for us since we are already here. I found a firefly! I can check my total on the subscreen. Now, as I said before, the, there are 12 of these, and we are going to collect them all right now. Uh, as it also turns out, there is another one right uh, oh, careful of the spikes. There's another one right nearby in the... In the Eagle Wasteland. Now, a tip for, uh, the, the Fireflies, I'm just gonna point this out right now. Um, they only come out at nighttime, since they're Fireflies, of course. But a, a quick way to make sure that it is nighttime is uh, go to uh, warp to uh, the zombie caravan. There we go. Dirt. Here's another fi firefly, by the way. It's right near the entrance to the Eagle Wasteland. Anyways, uh, you warp to uh, the zombie caravan, and then it immediately turns to night. No matter if it's the middle of the day or whatever, it just turns to night, and then you can go firefly. Fire Firefly collecting, geez. Uh, now in the in the mud bog, there are two things. There, there are enemies, but that's not one of the two things. Uh, fly high enough, and you'll start finding giant mushrooms. There should be some around here. 
here we go. There are there's one of them. And another one at the top of them is the spider venom. This talisman will allow me to attack in spider form. That's alright, I guess. I mean, it's not incredibly useful, but it's something. You don't have to get out of spider form to attack now, but it's not that useful. Anyways, here's another firefly. <laughs> uh, that should be three? Yeah, oh wow, I got it right as it turned to daytime. That was really convenient. Because now I can show that it turns nighttime when you go to the zombie caravan. Hey. Oh, I could have gone gambling again. No. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, and I also show off that this is one of the places where uh where the zombie gear caravan can be. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, the, well actually, hang on. This is one of the places where there is a firefly. The Naga Wasteland. Uh, just keep flying around. Avoid the, uh, the snake packs. And there's a firefly up here. I'm just gonna wait for another attack. Yep. There we go. Okay. Uh, that should be four. Okay, okay, uh, I think I'm gonna go to Scuttletown real quick. Down, no, down. Because there is another Firefly location. In the Scarecrow Field. Now I believe we saw this firefly on the w on the way to uh, Watertown the first time, but I said, "Oh, we're collecting them all at the end." Uh, now there should be a pe pedestal coming up that you can just yeah jump onto, and there's a firefly here. As it turns out, there's another firefly in. Waterfall Lake, as well as well as the hidden hidden Waterfall Lake area. I am running low on hearts. I realize that, and I should probably heal myself soon. Eh, let's do it now. I'll probably just see you at the Waterfall Lake. All right, so while I was uh, running around and getting, getting the fireflies, it turned to daytime. So I thought might as well turn in the warp squids while we are in the area, and also it would burn a little bit of time while we're waiting. Uh, warp squid hut. Here's your babies, take them, just take them. They're golden. Ish, kind of. Also, there's a plug-in on the wall, I just realized. Do you have Wi-Fi here? Okay, anyways, here's dance. Uh, okay, that's not incredibly uh, confusing. You can perform with this dance anytime you want, day or night, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'll probably see you at the next Firefly location. Alright, so it's not quite nighttime yet, so I thought I might as well show off the greed jar since we are being forced to wait anyways for nighttime. And I don't want to use the zombie caravan technique right now because we're so far away from one of the spawn points. Anyways, here's the greed jar. Let's use it and then... Oh no, don't go down! I didn't mean to do that. Does that negate the effect of the greed jar? Ah, uh, I think it does. 
Yep. Okay, well, let's try that again. I didn't even need to go down. So as you can see, the gems are flashing and they're duplicating. It just creates a lot of gems at one at one time. So if you don't like the gambling way of getting money for whatever reason, here you have it. Oh, but it doesn't last too long. Okay, well. Anyways, while we're here, let's get that firefly we came for, huh? I guess you can get this as soon as you get firefly, or what? As soon as you get either monkey jump or spider, you can use that or the harpy dance. Anyways, uh, the next firefly location is in the hidden waterfall area that I showed off right before going to uh, the Twinkle Palace at Mount Pointy. So just using the ha the harpy flying move, just mashing A a bunch, you can fly all the way over there. That's why this is the reason why I put off collecting the fireflies because not only because uh, there are some you can't get as uh, without the harpy, but it also makes traveling a lot easier. Did I just do that? Ugh. Freaking ugh, whatever. Anyways, uh, you go down this way? No. Um. Right, right. You climb up. Been a few days since I recorded that one episode. Anyways, we're in the hidden waterfall lake area. Let's turn into Harpy. Hey. Let's get there before the sun comes up, huh? And you found another Firefly, hooray. All right, now that leaves a few more areas. Uh, actually, that doesn't leave a ton of areas uh, because we have, oh, we have a little more than half. Okay, well. Anyways, I'll just see you at the next area, which is Rainstorm, which is where it was incredibly rainy and there were those Reaper guys. Actually, we can warp now. Uh, down, up, right, left. Okay. Oh. Friggin' All right, let's try again, shall we? Uh, <laughs> let's hope that it doesn't turn to daytime. Although it shouldn't, because I just warped to the caravan and then back to Watertown. We found a firefly right near the beginning of Rainstorm. And then if you continue onward, uh, there's nothing else in the Rainstorm part of the map, but there is in uh, the Snail Wasteland, which is right on the next screen, so there's no real point in warping or anything. Convenient, huh? Anyways, I'll probably just see you over there. Alright, alright. Uh, I know I said I'd be at the Firefly location, but there's another... Uh, this is another shortcut. This is probably, if I had to say, this is probably the uh, one that leads to the hidden waterfall area. We're not gonna go down it because we don't need to go to the hidden waterfall area. Uh, we do need to go over this way. Um, about two thirds of the way through. All right, I have no idea how far we are in. Uh, oh, this is the end. Oh, crap. We do not need to go to the zombie swamp. 
pits. Um, oh, here it is. All right, uh, the next place should be the Ghost Forest. Okay, it's daytime. Nothing to be concerned about. We can go to the zombie caravan. Alright, welcome back to Ghost uh, Ghost Forest. At the be at the beginning of the Ghost Forest, there should be an indentation with a firefly. That should make nine, and there's also a firefly at the first stop where you have to bash down a wall with the elephant bash. Should be right here. Nice and convenient. Alright, now the next one should be an archer forest, which is the next map over. All right, we are back, and we are in the Archer Forest, and there's, yep, right at the top of the ruins, which is near the beginning of the, uh, the Archer Forest, is a Firefly. And, if you look at the map, or your pause screen, that's 12. We have all the Fireflies. And, now that we have all the Fireflies, we can turn them in. And if you don't remember, you have to turn them in at Watertown. Uh, I talked to you already. Uh, where is it? It's here, Firefly Shrine. Now that we have all the fireflies, this room is lit up so we can look at this scroll. Hey, I've got enough fireflies to light up these runes. Down, up, A. Right next to a heart symbol. Wow, I can use this dance to swap 10 gems for every empty heart that needs refilling. Very nice. That's right. Potions are obsolete. As long as you use this dance. No, wait, is it? That's not what I meant to do. Hang on. Was it? I wasn't paying attention. Down up A. Okay. Down up A. Wow, that actually healed me fully. And that also took a lot of hell, uh, money, because we had 300. Okay, so that's very nice. We collected everything in the game, except for the fighter's gear, which requires quite a bit of money. Off screen, I'm gonna go, t go back to uh, Oasis Town and grind up some money using the gambling technique. Yes, yes, I... Ugh. Anyways, uh, I think this is a good stopping point. So, yeah, like I said off-screen, I'm gonna get the money, and then, next episode, we're gonna collect the rest of the fighter's gear, and then we're gonna go visit, uh, Uncle Mimic back in Scuttledown. So, I'll see you next time for Shantae. See you then!